yeah. Hey guys, it's she. I'm back today with another video. So right now I'm strategically walking around a bunch of furniture I'm working on in my living room. Guys, my house has literally become like the workshop, okay? So let me show you actually what I'm working on. So guys, this is a dresser I'm working on. And I like to sit here and watch YouTube videos while I paint the flowers on. What it eventually will look like is something like this beauty. So, um, basically I make like five to six of these every week and then resell them. They're very popular in nurseries. You can see I have all my clay molds and all that stuff. So, look, even here is like a scrap pile of furniture. Sometimes when the drawers are like really raggedy or gross on the inside i clean them really good but then i go ahead and line them with fabric sorry this one's kind of hard to open with one hand you really need two to open it but see i go ahead and i line the inside of the drawer with this fabric um that way you know anything gross or ugly is hidden so that's what we have here so guys Look, here comes Oreo. Come here. Hi, Boogie. Say hello. Anyway, guys, so this is the mess I have going on in my living room right now. And every single day for the most part because I don't have, like, a workshop. That's the one thing about, you know, owning a business like this. You definitely need space to create. And unfortunately, my house is... 1,030 square feet so I don't have that dedicated space where I can just kind of set things up and keep it moving but I am not letting that stop me so today I'm going to show you how I run a furniture painting business without a garage or workshop so bear with me guys I'm going to show you how I paint the furniture where I paint the furniture and how I store the items when I fin when I'm finished so, um, <laughs> most of you know that I had a gazebo out on my deck and the gazebo I decided would be, whoo, sorry, the gazebo, I hate bugs. So the gazebo I decided is like the best space for me to paint at. Um, it's the only space where I have like enough space for large pieces so I was looking on Amazon for a couple of different options and I seen that people were painting inside of these pop-up canopies so unfortunately guys a hurricane came and look there is my old gazebo okay old gazebo destroyed so I ordered another one these don't these cost $175 currently that corner over there is broken but it is what it is um what I did was I actually just put some um shower curtains up these are shower curtains from the dollar tree and they're very very inexpensive when they get they're only a dollar each right now i have one two three four five shower curtains up um sometimes it gets a little toasty in here like it is right now so what i like to do is like kind of roll this up but on days when it's raining i just pull all of them down that way the furniture inside doesn't get wet the other nice part about this pop-up tent, what I do guys is you can actually lower this. So if it's raining up a storm, like the rain is really coming down, this act, you lower all four of them and the gazebo drops down to about uh, three or four feet tall. So the canopy helps to protect all of the furniture. And then these shower curtains like keep water from getting inside. And so far it's been really good. Um, so at first I did not cover the deck because I was like, you know what, this isn't going to be permanent. I'm shopping for a space, whatever. So I have spray paint on my actual wood, but it's no problem. That can always be repainted when I'm ready to use this as an outdoor space again. Um, and so I have shower curtain liners down just to protect the wood underneath. And then I also, this is a custom piece that I'm working on for a customer right now. So. I have her drawers inside because I have to drill new holes and then I'm covering the old holes up for her hardware. But all of these flowers were hand painted, all that good stuff, guys. I don't really paint the inside of the cabinets 
and that's because like people are going to be putting objects inside and ultimately it will end up getting scratched so I don't do that but anyway on what I did as far as keeping the furniture off of the ground especially like here in Virginia it's been raining like crazy is I actually just put the furniture on top of these ice um, ice cube trays they're only um, they come two in a pack for a dollar from the Dollar Tree so you're able to hit the base of the furniture because it's not flush with the floor and the ice cube trays really do a good job of keeping the furniture like elevated so that you're able to paint the bottom of it all that good stuff so the, um i used to paint inside of my house guys and the reason why i stopped is because my kitchen floor my poor kitchen floor it just had paint everywhere there was dust everywhere um as you see guys i've gotten a little chunky because i've been eating out so much um, so yeah, I just decided that, you know, we needed a kitchen. <laughs> so this has been my space to like paint. Um, it hasn't been too bad. Days were super hot. I have a fan. I plug it up and, you know, it helps keep everything cool. Oreo usually comes out here to join me. Um, guys, I started using a paint sprayer and I will do a video to show you guys how I use a paint sprayer to paint furniture but oh my god it has saved me literally so much time I have a Wagner um, paint sprayer I'm not sure of the model a friend who lives in Florida actually sent me his I was so thankful for that and then that one I thought it broke but I ended up getting it to work so now I have two paint sprayers which will be great because I hope to be able to hire like a part-time person to help me and sometimes my sister comes over to help so um, the Wagner paint sprayer comes with these two different size, um, two different size containers. So this is the smaller one. So the smaller one I usually put like my primer in, and then the larger one I usually put paint inside, guys. And so that's why I have all these tarps up because when you're using a paint sprayer, you don't want the paint to like get on your house. Or all that kind of stuff and then I wear like a um, respirator mask so that I'm not breathing those fumes in or whatnot but now I'm able to paint like three to four pieces of furniture in a day you know so I'm able to paint a lot more furniture get it done a lot faster so next guys I'm gonna take you over to my storage so that way you can see how I store items and all that good stuff <laughs> Okay guys, so we're here already. I know, it only took us about five minutes to get here. So I'm not wearing a mask for somebody to come leave a comment because there's no one in the storage. There's no one in there, okay? No one, so I'm good. Thank you for your concern. But anyway, so I'm at my storage unit, guys. Um, the reason why I rented a storage was because it just made sense. like. They have carts right here, so literally I can just take things straight out of the back of my Jeep onto the cart by myself pretty easily. And then I'm on the second floor of the storage unit. Sometimes I'm not going to lie, it'd be a little scary in here. But the good part is the building is secure, so there's cameras everywhere. Um, and usually when I come here, there's only like one or two people. I only try to visit. Oh, thank God the lights are on. Normally when I step off this dark and I be like. <laughs> but anyway, got dark like this. And then as you start to walk, the lights come on. But yeah, so the reason why I got a storage unit here, of course, is because it's climate controlled. So you don't have to worry about like your furniture being exposed to the elements or anything. And then they have the carts and it's pretty close to my house so normally when someone wants to buy something unless they want delivery then I just bring them here guys I load the furniture up onto a cart and bring it down to the parking lot I never meet anyone inside of the building $84 a month and I forget the size of my unit it used to be like patting down um, with stuff for sale but actually changed my marketing strategy so these are two pieces that i just got this past weekend it's so cute i'm lying i got this two weekends ago this i got last last week it's a dresser i actually need to take this home with me so i should have got a cart um but so we have a few pieces that are finished 
Then a few pieces that are just for flips, like these. Um, there's two end tables and a coffee table, and I got them for sixty. And I'm gonna sell them for probably about two hundred dollars. So it's just a quick little flip. And then I have some nice antique furniture and a vanity. So guys, if you wanted me to do like a full like storage unit haul, I'll be happy to do that as well. This is on my bubble wrap, which I need to take home for when I like ship stuff for sale. But anyway guys, that is literally how I, where I paint my furniture and how I store it. Um, so I just want to say like for a while I was kind of like sad and I felt a little defeated because I wanted to buy a larger house, a house that had space for me to basically like store and paint furniture. But right now I really have to work on building this business up. And I also have to work on making sure that next year when I file, next two years when I file taxes, that I file enough income on my taxes to count as income. So that's kind of my dilemma with purchasing a new property. Um, but for now, I'm just really happy and blessed that I own one home. It has lots of equity in it. You know, the payment is super cheap and affordable. So I'm just counting my blessings and being thank and being grateful. And so I hope that, I hope that this video inspires someone else out there because I know sometimes like when you're wanting to start a business or you have like a dream or a goal in mind, it may feel like, oh my God, how am I going to do this? But sometimes you just got to get creative. And like once I got out of the place where I felt bad and sorry for myself, like, oh, I don't have space to make my dream come alive. You know, I was able to get creative and come up with a solution to not only store my furniture, but to also have a nice place to paint it. So anyway, like I said, I hope this video inspires somebody to keep pushing um, and do what you gotta do in the meantime until you can do what you want to do. My next goal, I believe, is to get a retail store. I think it would be really dope to have a place where I can paint furniture, offer classes, and then also have a place, like a storefront to sell them. I feel like with a more expensive environment, I'll be able to charge more for my furniture. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it, make sure you give it a thumbs up, leave some comments down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.